hi, I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just packing away some food and some dry ice, and going over today's science file. Can you turn a solid straight into a gas? Try this. You will need a pop bottle, some gloves, some dry ice, and the most important ingredient, an adult. Well, you sure can. Well, there you go. A solid directly into a gas. See ya. still here. Well, that's probably because you want to see something way more exciting. Well, if you want to do something really cool with dry ice, get yourself an empty two-liter pop bottle. Fill the two-liter pop bottle halfway full of warm water. Uh, was that me? Oh, no, it's the balloon we need. <laughs> Gather everything up and head out. Outside, you definitely don't want to do this in your house. Make sure you bring that adult with you. Now hit the dirt! <laughs> huh, this might take a little longer than I thought. We've sped things up. This may take you a minute or two, but don't go anywhere or you'll miss out on the awesome experiment's conclusion. Yes! <laughs> that is totally awesome! The balloon blew up! Now, what's going on here? Well, take a look at this. When a solid turns directly into a gas without a liquid state forming, it's called sublimation. Look closely at the dry ice and the warm water. You can see the bubbles coming right off the dry ice. The dry ice, or solid carbon dioxide, sublimates and turns into carbon dioxide gas in the warm water. Eventually, the balloon fills up and can't hold any more gas. That's when the balloon explodes. I cannot express this enough. Make sure that if you're going to do this experiment at home, that you have an adult present. And some dry ice, otherwise it doesn't work. So, turning a solid directly into a gas is why science is so cool.